Hello, and today I'm going to introduce to you Mindstorm EV3 race truck. So the first thing I'm going to start with is um, the attachments that uh, I did. Um, this button right here, when you turn on the system and go to program, it, um, it th when you click that, it says hello. And over here, okay, it doesn't go off, but this is a camera. And when it senses red, well, when it senses green, it goes backwards since I switched the gears a few days ago. And um, when I um, when I put red in front of it, it says game over, and the whole system just literally shuts down. Um, then uh, with the things that you shouldn't do. Over here in the front, there's a very sensitive camera. It looks like two eyes. And um, do never, tr never try bashing it into a wall like that. Because um, it will damage the front and it will also damage the wheels over here. Because um, there's like gears that spin it when I use the remote control to move it or the program. Then next, I made this trailer and um, over here is the gear that keeps the car's wheels on or remote, who cares. Um, and then over here it folds and opens. Here it's like it's like a showroom, you open these two, they show the car, all sides and front. And um, the wheels are pretty small, so don't put it on rough surfaces because then it will not move. Right. And this thing on carpets with this trailer, it doesn't work. So if you made this trailer, do not put it on the truck when you want to use it on carpets or rough surfaces. But then I also put a few like details. You know the stuff that um are on like cars that you step on and then step off of them to get on the door. That is actually pretty easy to build. Then um over here I've got the exhaust pipe. I just took it off. And um then here, there are like um, little mechanisms, like motors that spin the wheels when their remote control or program tells them to. This is like the whole main brain, this whole part. It includes six batteries, and you it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plugs that you can connect to to move it this way and that. I used, let's see, I used six plugs to move this whole thing. And um, when I, I'll to wait, when I, um, when I use the remote control on the second switch, it moves these wheels from left to right where the red line is. I think you hold the remote control like this. This is left. The button on the left side is left turn, that right turn. But then you have to switch back to one to drive the car, like that, or truck. And then, um, uh, here, these are like more details, funny details. And then now let's do more of the truck. So, to move the batteries, you take this part off, like the, the outer rim, and then you rip off the main brain, but don't like really actually try like destroying it. Over here, it's pretty hard to take the battery pack lid off, and do not just force it, keep calm and pull it like that, it will come off, 
and as I told you, it includes six batteries, AA, medium size. Make sure that um, they are all the same company because last time I put, um, I think it was like a, the yellow and silver and black battery with the Cure Clowns. It ran out of battery in like two days. So, um, and the last time I put out Cure Clown, it, I got this for my birthday, so it lasted about for like three or four months. So, over here, I told you about, here's the gears. And then you just put this back on. Make sure you find out which one's correct because if you start trying to force the parts that go inside the big holes into the small holes, they'll break all of a sudden. So make sure that the two little back parts here go inside the two small slots and then you stick those two in. And over here, um, you have to stick the two top black ones inside these two little parts on each, on both sides. So then you just like, stick it back in. Okay, and then you stick this. It goes on the top clicks over here on the batteries on the battery pack or main brain you put them on the middle one on the top click and on the bottom one on the top click you stick it in and now I will show you how this thing drives so if you're a beginner this little button turns on the brain and then once it flashes green that means it's turned on. And uh, let's wait. Okay, um. So, turn on. It might take a while because I've got tons of stuff in the brain, like programs and all that. I'll first show you how the program works. So, it's on now. Let me make that sound. Okay, so it's the program. Okay. It'll turn on a second. Okay, I think that's the program. Okay, so as I told you, this button makes it say hello, so I'm going to do it now. It says hello. And now, um, let's say, like, if you put something green in front of the camera, it will say go and it will go backwards for me, but maybe forwards for you if you switch the gears up. And when I put something red, let's see, such as this, this is a little key switch. So it's game over and the whole thing shuts down. And so now I will show you how. You go to IR control on the third folder. So, and then you can, there's a little switch here. That's one, two, three, and four. Uh, mine's set right now to one and two. One is to drive, two is to turn the wheels. So, let's go. And if you're like mine, you click these two bottoms to go forward, and you click these two to go backwards. So, let's go. And you turn the wheels. Okay. Hold on back. Oops. Okay, so. Turn, 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 turn. Okay, I gotta remove this.
Yeah. And so bye.